What's up YouTube? I'm the Kyle Car 131 and in this gel test we're going to be trying out the three different uh, flavors, three different weights, load weights of the AAC Sabre black tip self-defense rounds. Now they make these for the record the AAC which from what I understand I'm not positive but I believe AAC is basically Palmetto State Armory's sister company or subsidiary or whatever as far as i've seen you can only buy aac ammo aac being america's ammunition company uh, you can only buy it through psa and saber black tip seems to be i guess they're like own personal in-house self-defense line of ammo i've seen them in a number of different calibers 223 obviously 308 300 blackout 65 creed more so some of the more popular uh, rifle calibers have a Sabre blade black tip version. These are the 5.56 versions. Kind of nice that they do it in 5.56, not 2.23. I have a chronograph set up for the record, so we'll see if I can get some velocities. But it's a 5.56, so shockingly, they have one 55, 62, and 75 grains. So loading these up, I'm going to be shooting them in ascending order. So, in other words, the first one I'm going to be loading ergo the last one I'm going to be shooting is the 75 grain after that I have the 62 grain and if I can get the bitch out the 55 grain is going to be coming out first I'm going to be three yards away three ish I'm gonna just step it off so I'm not exact but and it's going to be coming out of the 16 inch ballistic advantage barrel here so let's step back and see how they go so again, three yards away, 55 grain gonna be coming out first. Expectations, I don't really have any, given that I can't find on the a Palmetto State Armory website what kind of load this is. I don't think it's a varmint load, which makes me inclined to like it more, but I don't know. So I, I watched briefly the uh, Mr. Guns and Gear review of this a while back. It seemed pretty okay in that, so we'll see how it does here. Again, 55 grain coming out first. Velocity 31.54. Okay, <laughs> so remember how I said in, as recording like 30 seconds ago, I don't think it's a varmint load. I'm kind of taking that back. So 3154 was the velocity. Let me turn this so I can actually see it better. We're looking at overall penetration, seven inches, it looks like maybe it went to like seven and a quarter and bounced back, but basically seven inches. The neck, very short neck, the neck is basically how far into the medium, in this case, ballistic gel, the bullet has to go before it starts to break up or tumble or do something. Very short neck, literally like half an inch of the neck on this one. And then, it looks like a varmint load, which if you've seen my several videos on the 53 grain VMAX from Hornady, you'll know personally, if you disagree, I don't really care. Personally, I don't like varmint loads for self-defense and the seven inch overall penetration is why. It, there's very large uh, temporary stretch cavity damage, basically. And the fragments go from about two inches all the way to seven, roughly about two inches to seven. At its widest point, for the record, the damage as shown in this uh, medium from the temporary stretch cavity, also about two inches wide. So you can see, as I said, very short neck, very rapid uh, explosion, basically. I'm starting to rethink <laughs> my idea that this was not a varmint load, but as you can see, it did stop right there. 
overall basically about seven inches overall penetration I'm back with the 62 grain see how this one goes <laughs> I think the velocity was wrong because it says 126 <laughs> So, much better for me, personally. The 55 grain got to seven inches. Oh, it's easier on this side even. The 62 grain got to a foot, about 12 inches. Neck, very similar, half inch, maybe three quarters of an inch. The fragments are actually also fairly similar. Around the first, earliest I see fragments is about two inches, and I see one at seven. So overall, that part is fairly similar. However, the core of the bullet did extend out to 12 inches. Now, the standard that I go for for all of my ballistic gel testing is 12 to 18 inches. That is the FBI standard. I have an entire video on why right here. I choose to use the 12 to 18 inch standard for even rifle testing. I'm not going to waste time going over and explaining why I use it for rifles. I did an entire video on it. So the standard I use, the 62 grain version got to the very, very minimum of what I'm looking for. Going for it in its defense, it does have that large uh, temporary stretch cavity or rather the damage from the temporary stretch cavity because by definition of what it is the temporary stretch cavity is temporary and it has to do enough damage to those tissues that are being ballooned out to actually damage them and fragments are one of the best ways to do that so this entire cavity right here where the temp tsc would have been those fragments are going to do a really good job at helping to transform that temporary cavity into permanent damage last but not least we have the 75 grain Hopefully I'll get a better velocity reading than 126. Twenty-five eighty-two velocity. All right, that one looks pretty freaking good. So I forgot to get you guys an up close view of the 62 grain wound track. I will shortly as in a moment, 75 grain. A tiny bit under 15 inches. little or between 14 and three quarters and 15 inches basically next between all three different uh, loads are very similar around half an inch then for the 75 grain the damage from the temporary stretch cavity goes around an inch honestly almost out to about 10 inches before it really seems to taper off into just the uh permanent Temporary stretch cavity, permanent cavity. I'm blanking on my terms, but the, the permanent cavity, the tissue physically destroyed by the bullet itself. So overall, a pretty, pretty wide uh, uh, margin there for damage from the TSC. And again, about 15 inches, which on a personal level, I like that. So we got the 62 grain here. Again, very short neck. This is the 75 out there. Uh, necks are very similar between all of them. Pretty big cavity here. And then it extends out to here, about 12 inches where the core of the bullet stopped. And then on this side, we have that very short neck again. Overall, pretty long, pretty large temporary stretch cavity damage there. 
starts to taper off into just the wound track and then about 15 inches very close to the end of the block which is 16 ish inches so here are the recovered bullets the 55 grain you can tell these are not bonded bullets this is the only part i was able to get out from the core of the bullet just the absolute shell of it really And for the record, it was about 0.49 inches across. Expanded pretty nicely, but again, just a very little thin fragment. Here is the 62 grain. Retained a little bit more of the overall bullet. Still lost most of the weight to fragments though. And I got about 0.495, so a very similar overall expansion. And the 75 grain retained the most, I would say, weight. And it also exp expanded the least at about 0.48. Not overly surprising. It was going with less velocity. Ergo, it didn't hit with as much energy. And it most likely, well, not most likely, it did uh, expand less. So what is my final uh, opinion on the... 55, 62, and 75 grain saber black tip rounds from AAC or Palmetto State Armory. This is not what I expected, frankly. However, I will say I am pretty pleased overall with the 75 grain. The 75 grain got to that penetration standard that I'm looking for, almost perfectly centered, really, 15 inches overall penetration. And it also had a pretty wide, a pretty large amount of uh, damage, quote unquote, from the temporary stretch cavity. The 55 grain, nah, not as big a fan. The 55 grain, whatever type of actual bullet these are, hollow points or whatever, the 55 grain, it just, it, it, it didn't penetrate enough. It expanded very quickly, fragmented, lost all of its energy, and it dumped very quickly. If you are just deathly afraid of overpenetration, then I guess you could use a 55 grain. Personally, I, you could use the 55 grain, I guess. Personally, I think overpenetration is something to consider, but it's also worried about way more than I think it probably should be. Case in point, please, if you are that worried about overpenetration, find me and link me in the comments any documented cases of a civilian self-defense shooting where the civilian both hit their target, the bad guy, and it went all the way through and then it hurt an, an innocent bystander. Has it happened before? Yes, I'm sure it has. Is it also extremely more rare than people worry about it happening? Is it much more rare than people have seem to think? I would say so. And I have yet to have anybody actually link me any articles or studies or anything talking about that happening. I'm not talking about I know a guy whose buddy was a cop who heard that it happened, all that bullshit. I'm talking about actual documented cases of a civilian overpenetration accident, mishap, whatever. Uh, link them in the comments if you can find them. I have yet to have any brought to my attention. So, of the three loads, the 62 grain was okay, absolute bare minimum penetration though, and the 75 grain was by far the best one that I would of the three it's the one I would definitely take if you also were impressed by the 75 grain saber black tip from AAC I would encourage you to stick around for next week when I'm going to be uploading a FBI simulated FBI barrier test with the 75 grain saber black tip so if that interests you I encourage you to come back next week same time and you should see the video and you'll find out how well this would do if should you unlikely but should you have to uh, engage a threat of some sort through various kinds of barriers if you enjoyed the video you found it entertaining or informative give me a thumbs up i really appreciate it tell me in the comments below if there's any other loads you'd like to see me test uh i'll do my best at looking to get my hands on them in today's economy though you never know but yeah if there's anything else you want to see me test let me know I'm the Kyle Car 131, signing off.